Bokil Tov. This week's parasha, parasha Chai Sava. I have a kasha that I'm going to challenge the Eidim again. If you look very carefully, and this is something that I would never have noticed if I didn't pay attention last week, when I asked a question about no, the mysterious word no, no, which means please. If you look very strangely, when it comes to Eliezer Eved Avrom, the servant of Avrom Avinu, when he's coming, and he's coming, Bishlichus, he's the messenger, and he's going to be Mikadesh, he's going to betroth Rivka to Yitzchak Avinu. In the conversation, he mentions nothing about please. Yet, when he repeats his whole story, then he suddenly sticks in please. Kasha, that I want the other to tell me a good terrors. We're still working, but we're going to write a safer on the no. Just on the word no. But if we want to now go a little bit deeper, Chazal say the following words. Says Rashi, V'ovoi hayoyim. Eliezer of Avram says, I came today. And he goes on to explain, like we just said, the whole history of exactly what happened. What happened, what transpired between him and Rivka. Say Chazal, Rashi, Omer Rabbi Yacho, Yofesi Choson Shel Avdei Ovis. Beautiful are the conversation of the servants of our fathers, in front of the Rebbeinu, more than the Torah of his children. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'd love to hear a Geval de Kipshat. I'll tell you what I think, Pasha Pshat, and I think it's something that relates to something that we began to discuss yesterday. And it connects to a video and a request that someone sent me. Yesterday someone sent me, please speak about the Mailas of Izboidatus. So, those that know me know that I'm a little ashtik breslov too. I try to combine everything. That's me. Ksayin is passing. Breslov is something that introduced, really something that was always part of Kalal but was very much lost, and that is his boididus. What is his boididus? So someone sent me a video. A video that happens probably to many of us. You come to the Kaisal, and you're trying, and you're struggling to daven. <laughs> And to connect to the Rabbi Shalom. You're finally by the Kaisal, where else? And suddenly there's a Nigerian or a Kenyan comes with his friend, walks up to the Kaisal, and starts speaking. I'm just like a half an hour, an hour conversation. I've seen this myself a few times. Screaming at the Rabbi Shalom. I'm just having the most. And there's no, like, there's no one's around. And so someone actually sent me a video that an Israeli. Is watching and he's being misspoiled, his mamish mood, and he's saying, Wow! And he says, This is what the Pasuk means. I mean, this is a house of prayer that's going to be called for all the nations. And they're teaching us what we're supposed to do. So, what does that mean? Is that sometimes it's more beautiful, the simple tefillahs of Avdei Ha'avais of little children, of people that are not even obligated, that probably that's the reason why it's easier. For us, someone that's obligated, the mitzvah of tefillah, of like we mentioned, it's a mitzvah, the rice, and the basic concept of the rice of tefillah is to speak to the Rebbeinu Shalom in the most truthful, most honest, most childish, most simple way. That's his boidudus. And it's something that we need to practice so much. And I'll share with you, at least, I'll share with you one story that happened to me many years ago. In the next video, stay tuned.